Hey, this is Gene with BNT Pest Control again. Today we're going to be dealing with ants. So first thing, we're going to be trying to find a trail and show you how to take care of it. How we start everything is with an inspection. Today the customer is seeing ants in the kitchen, so that's where we're going to start. Here we're seeing some ants. They're coming from the window down the back of the backsplash. A lot of times ants will go to the sink or other places to get moisture. We're also watching them trailing all the way down the backsplash at the cabinet here, going to their bait station. All bait is made as an attractant. It's a food source and that's the purpose of it. So when you put it away from a target area, it can cause a lot of other issues in places that you don't want ants. Now we've got a good idea of where the ants are coming from. We're gonna step out and inspect the entire perimeter. We've checked the wall here by the window where we're seeing activity on the inside. No ants. Ants can travel a couple hundred feet in small areas in wall voids. So we're gonna walk around, and check the rest of the perimeter. So we found some trailing ants running down the block here by the flower bed. So we're gonna trace them and see if we can find the nest. We've traced them down the flower bed rocks all the way around the side. They go up and then come back down this way. And right here we found at least a sub colony, if not the main colony. There's still some ants trailing this way, so we're gonna to continue to trace them back. We have traced these ants back to this pine straw. As we talked about in our last video, pine straw, undergrowth, and different things create harborage, create moisture for ants and lots of other issues. We traced the ants to the pine straw, through the pine straw a little bit. We've lost it, we found it again. We've traced them to this tree here. They're climbing right up this tree on the vine, which we're not gonna to touch. They love to eat aphids and sweets that they produce. So they'll be going up lots of different trees, but they're going all the way up as far as we can see here. Just because you find ants in one place doesn't mean that's the only location where they're coming from. We're gonna continue the inspection and walk around the entire house. We're now on the other side of the flower bed. We found them coming down the rocks all the way over to the house. Even though I don't see them going into the house here, doesn't mean that they're not. We also followed them down the sidewalk and going back toward the driveway. So we followed them all the way down the sidewalk to the driveway. They're going both directions toward the road and towards the house. We're gonna keep following. As we're continuing to follow ants, they come across a flower pot, which they love for a stop for some shade. We're also following the trail all the way back to the back of the house. Uh, we're going through some cracks out in the middle of the driveway. They're going all the way to the trash can. So we know what goes in trash cans. Trash! Yeah. It's best to keep them cleaned out as much as possible. If that's not possible, keep them pulled away from the house. We've moved the trash cans and we really found the ants where they're coming from and feeding. They're feeding on trash, but they're also feeding on maggots from flies. It is important to keep your trash cans cleaned out. Well, we found some more ants here eating on a dead bug. We're watching them. They go all the way up the fence and we're gonna follow them around here to see where they're coming from. They come across the top. There's some going down. They're going back this way also. This is exactly what we've been talking about. From our video before about vegetation growing against the house, this is where these ants are coming from. We've got ants down this fence from one corner all the way to where the fence touches the house. Ants are going on to the house. They're going down and get a bug. We got vegetation in contact with the fence. There are a lot of ants coming off of all this vegetation following the fence line to your house. Remember, Cut everything back from anything that touches the house. That creates a highway for ants. Now we're going to get some treatment down. We're going to use some liquid material and we're going to start outside with the nest that we found and on some of the trails. Then we're going to follow that with some baits and some areas that we can't get treatment down, such as the vegetation and the fence and areas like that. From there, we're going to the inside and we're going to take care of that. Ants go marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching one by one, the little one stops to have some fun, and they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom. Whoa! Since so we're moving the rugs, we found some ants, so we're gonna keep treating. The ants are all around the fence. Ants, 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 they are everywhere. As we're treating, we're seeing some areas that we didn't see before. Ants are running, coming right off the fence, right up the corner here of the house, going all the way up to the soffit. From there, who knows where they may be. Time for bait. This is actually an ant cafe. Time to serve up some dinner. Bait like this is designed as an attractant. So they'll come, they'll feed on it, they'll carry some back to the nest. All of them will feed on it and it's gonna kill them that way. 
replacing bait brings ants to our material when we can't get to them. Now they got the dinner at the cafe, and now we're gonna get them some dessert. We like to use a granular bait also. Some people call it a scatter bait. The foragers pick it up, they take it back to the nest and controls them that way. Granular bait also holds up better in certain weather conditions. Sometimes we have an issue to where we can't go into another property because houses are so close together. This is as far as we can go, so we're all done for out here. Let's step inside. We found a lot of nests on the outside and we've got those taken care of, so I think we've got the issue controlled. But we're going to treat these entry points on the inside just to make sure to get them knocked down. I think that'll do it for this one. Like and subscribe for more videos. We'll be back soon. Hope you will.